How's it going guys? TG Grappling. Kevin Weber. I'm Brian Peterson. We're going to show you guys uh, a technique. Just last night, late last night, I, I dropped a technique um, in, in the Nogi Ezekiel choke that I use when people try to go towards north-south or especially when they try to uh, north-south choke me. Um, so it's a great variation. But you know what? I, I thought about right after I uh, uh, dropped it, I was thinking about how I teach a lot of my students different things. I, I've got a lot of variation that I show, um, if you couldn't tell, in my personality. There's always lots of variation. So I have a variation I show for the guys that are a little bit bigger and uh, stronger. They don't have long, skinny limbs. If you have long, skinny limbs, use the, uh, the Ezekiel variation. Um, but I've got one for the big, strong men, and, uh, or the guys just with shorter, shorter arms. Uh, you, I want you to try this one that I'm going to show. And then also I'm just going to show basic, basic defense. So when you guys end up here on the bottom and he's, he's in side control, yeah? And then what, again, what happens a lot of times is because you, you turn on your side. See, again, look at my left hand is getting an underhook. So because I have an underhook, he door stops and then he starts to work himself towards north-south. Now, when he goes towards north-south, you're going to wrap your neck up. So... You guys see, his left hand is around my neck. What I need to make sure I do, don't, don't be moving around right here with your hands, like pushing on things, trying to get out. You're just gonna get more south choke. Right away, you have to know how to do a frame. So this ties in with the video I dropped last night. You gotta know a frame. And there's an important way that you have to frame. You don't frame with this one. So when I frame in front of his neck with this one, I can make a fist right here, a little frame, grab my frame, push my frame, and create space. Seems like it's gonna work. The problem is he has his right hand to deflect. So he'll deflect your frame, and then now he drops his head, and you can't get out, and you get north-south choked by this monstrous uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex right here we call Kev. Okay, so I wanna frame with this hand, okay? His left hand is choking me, so I want to put this one in front, okay? If I can put this one in front of his neck, he's going to drop down a north-south choke. I'm going to load my bridge a little bit. I'm going to bump a little, turn on my side, and then I'm going to connect my hands. So look at how I framed. My right hand now supports the frame. I push, push, push. That allows me to turn my head. Once I've turned my head, I'm pretty much out. He does have me in a headlock. You know, you still have to worry about guillotine chokes later on down the road, okay? But if you frame and you work your head out, you can then block the biceps. The man comes forward to pass your guard and you'll spin back into the guard. So that's your basic north-south choke defense is get in the frame and don't wait. So the second you're here, you should already put your hand in there because if you wait, he will adjust, and once he adjusts down, it's too late, okay? Mm -hmm. You're in deep trouble at that point. You better hope that he's really tired, or you better hope that you maybe have found a tiny little gap where you can survive, or, or maybe you just have the most insane bridge in the world, and the other guy doesn't have the best balance, and you can fake a guy out. Maybe you can roll him. It's possible, but if he's doing everything right, the north-south choke's an awesome choke. It's going to work. So you want to get your frame early, okay? So I talked about the frame. The frame, go ahead, get me again. The frame is going to help me as well. Get to my nose, no be Ezekiel variation. Sorry. Okay, that's all right. It'll help me get to the variation. But I want to show you guys again. If I miss the frame, and I'm a big guy with big muscles, I know you guys can see these things. They're enormous, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to move his head to my right. Watch what I do. Sometimes I'll use my legs. I'm going to move and adjust and drop his head, wrap his neck, and literally just bend, rear naked choke grip. Don't do this. Make sure your wrist deep. And then now I'm going to put the squeeze on him. While he squeezes me, go ahead and he taps, okay? Now, 
it's an effective choke. It's very deceptive. You might think, how is this going to work? I make sure my right bicep is pressed against him very tight. I get a good rear naked choke grip. And then when I do this, I turn as much as I can and I squeeze. And man, when these things squeeze. Super get, tight guys, it gets no the, joke. It gets the job done. Anyway, I squeeze and I walk and I'll choke him out. So, and you guys are gonna laugh when I tell you the story on how I learned this technique. But go ahead, let me show it again. So the guy gets the north south choke. I always want the frame, but I messed up, or I'm just like a really big guy and I suck at this stuff. I suck at the Ezekiel variations. So again, his head could be in the middle of your chest, it could be looking left or right. I don't know, but what I'm gonna do is move his head. See how I adjust at my hip? And I wrap. If he tries to lift his head up, I get a good grip. Squeeze, and I choke him out. So that's the choke, it's very simple. Again, it looks, looks like, you know, totally uh, brutal, you know, just like no technique. But there's a lot of technique to it when you understand how to connect your biceps and get a good grip. Now, what if you have a guy that pulls away? He abandons the north-south choke because he feels that he's getting choked. So he first, he's dropping down to get the choke on me. Then, once I go here, he starts breaking away. If he breaks away, and you feel like your grip is slipping, he's getting out, let him go. The second I do that, look at my, where my hands went. I went into a block right here, like a little frame right here, a little frame right on his shoulder. Go ahead, Kev, get your control back. And now once he's here, I'm pushing my way out, and I'm getting myself back into the guard, okay? Um, so, you wanna make sure that if the choke isn't gonna work, don't be a, a dummy and, and just keep, keep choking and it's not gonna work. Like if you get this or the other Nogi Ezekiel variation that I showed on the other video, if you get this and you're squeezing and he starts creating space because he's worried, don't keep holding because now once he pulls out and you go here and you keep holding, now he just changes and he comores you, okay? so. Make sure that once you get adequate space, get your frames. Now he wants to put his pressure on me, and now I'm just gonna spin back into the guard. Notice I use his energy to spin. So I'm gonna do a video on that someday. Anyway. Oh, did I cover everything, Kev? That was good. That, is that, that good? That wrap is really important, and that choke is no joke. Like, yeah. once he gets it in deep and locks it in. Oh, the story. Okay, story time. Story time. You want to know how I learned that technique? This is something I started to do on my own. Again, all, that's all we do in, in any art form. Uh, we learn a piece of something. We learn a piece of another something. We put them together. It becomes art. And we, we make up a new technique. But really, we just kind of, you know, it's a mishmash of different moves. But this move, I actually learned it from some white belts. I was refereeing, I used to be a big time referee in the Southern California Jiu Jitsu scene back in the uh, early 2000s to mid 2000s. Um, I used to ref all the, 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 the big tournaments and when I was refereeing, I had these big tree trunk, 220 pound muscle bound uh, white belts. And one of them, they might one guy might have been a wrestler or something, but they were huge. and. One guy got the guy in a north-south choke, and he obviously had been taught to do it. Like he, he was trained to do it. He, he had enough skill, so the, the technique of his north-south choke looked good. And I'm refereeing. So as a referee, I'm watching the guy on top. Just lay down in your belly and pretend you're north-south choking someone. So he's got the guy in the north-south choke. As a referee, I'm coming around here, coming around here. I'm looking at the guy's head right here, and I'm looking to see if he's passing out. That's what I'm looking to see. I want to see if this guy's passing out, because I see, as a referee, a north-south choke. And what's so funny is this guy's here, hit the north-south choke, and he goes like this. He didn't know what he was doing. He's just a strong guy. And as he's squeezing, 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 go ahead, break. I see this guy go like this. 
and go unconscious. He passes out. And I'll be honest, I was totally caught off guard. I'm usually a really good referee at looking for things. But man, this top guy who's doing the North South show passes out. I, you know, I kind of revive him and the match is over. I declare the winner and everybody's just like, yeah, nobody said a word. And I'm sitting here as a referee going, oh my God. I'm like twisting my mustache going, this is awesome. I have a new move. I just learned from these muscle bound white belts. So we went back in the gym. This is a long time ago, back at Big John's. And I started, uh, I started working with it with my fight team and with all my guys. And we started practicing it. And we got the little subtle nuances. And we started pulling it off. It became, it wasn't a fluke. It was effective. So you can surprise a lot of guys. Now, I prefer this. But for you guys that got some big old muscles, you know, like this intricate grabbing, you're just really strong. Man, you can catch a guy by surprise. You hit this right. Wrap them up, get a nice wrist deep rear naked choke grip, and go to town. So that's all I got for today. Thank you, Kevin, for helping Thanks, me out. Man. All right. Appreciate it. All right, teach me grappling. Hit subscribe, like it, share it, make it bigger and better. I'm going to keep dropping the knowledge. Take it easy, guys. Mm -hmm.